Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm back with my great friend Joel Honeywell. Hey. Joe, it's great to see you. Last time we met, we were at BAM, we had an awesome time on the All Electric, it's just to the right of us. And Joel's just said to me, Peter, that guess what? I've got another surprise for you. And it's another concept. You know how I love concept stuff, guys. This is again Bobcat changing it up. What have we got here? It looks like you know, something from the future. That's John. right, and it is from the future. Yeah. This is our Rogue X concept machine. Wow. So this is fully electric, yeah. it's autonomous, and oh. it has advanced connectivity on it. But here's what we did with this design. Yeah. We told the engineers, no cab. No cab. No cab. So what we said was, if we designed a machine to do work without a cab, how might we do it differently? Yeah. And that's exactly what we did with this design here. And so the geometry of this lift arm is very, very unique. Yep. So we can actually have a radius and a vertical path on the same platform because of the geometry, because we removed that cabin on there. Right, okay, and the good thing about this as well is look at the height difference, folks. This is really changing it upwards to where you can put this machine, exactly. you know, and the types exactly of jobs. Right. We've yeah. already had customers come in the booth to say, hey, I have special applications. I might be in mining. I might be doing other things. I don't want the cap. Can we get this machine to be able to do that? Yeah, and that's what it can do. Right, let's have a quick look around some of the other pieces of it. So. Of course, if it's a Bobcat, it's going to be called something cool. Right. And it's Rogue X, yeah, the concept machine. Look how tall I am and look at the top of that. That is how high this whole thing is, isn't it? So yeah. Peter, let me explain this geometry here. Yeah. So this pivots about this point in here yes. and allows us to get 24 more inches of reach right. compared to a traditional loader because of this geometry yeah. and 12 more inches of dump height all on the same size of platform. And it can lift more because of that geometry as well. Because so it's again, really low to the ground. Yeah, low that the, to the ground yeah. and then this lift arm is back. So it allows right. us to be able to do that. Again, you can't do this with a cabbed machine. And so our engineers were able to really design this up to enable that extra performance that people want. Right, come around the back folks. Now, it doesn't open. But there's a battery in here. Well, I was going to say, right, so there's a battery in there. It's a concept machine. But how do we? How long do we envisage this working for, John? Yeah, this is a four-hour runtime machine. Right, okay. Because of the tracks. It's the same battery used in our T7X. We yep. put that in here. Yep. We're, we're using some other of our same components from there as well. Yep. So it gives us that great engineering that we've done before on that other product. The other thing is, right, I'm sensing something here. So when we talk about autonomous folks, we need to be able to see what's going on. We need to be able to see the obstacles. We need to be able to see what's, what's the difference with a trash can and a person, for example. So this, I take it, is part of the whole sensor system. Right, so this is the radar. This yeah. is our radar that we're introducing in North America okay. here in 2024. This is for object avoidance, so when it backs up, it'll automatically stop the machine. We have GPS and cellular connectivity on here, yeah. so we can do semi-autonomous functions, yeah. and we can plug our max control system in here which to run works. remotely, which yeah. is how we moved it into the booth. We yeah. use max control right. from our right. iPhone right. to bring that in here. So we're, a, we're gonna put a lot of technology around on automation into this platform. Again, don't have a cab, so we're gonna we're gonna take the opportunity to do that. Right, come on, let's go and talk about the tracks because it's been a long day here at Con Expo Joel already, but we've got a big, big track set up yeah. here. This is all about carrying those loads. It's all about you know right. rubber again. We can be sort of in different applications where we need that rubber track so we're not making damage on site right. either, is it? Correct. That and then the wet muggy conditions yep. that are out there as well, being able to go through the mud and all the other things, digging, dig power, being able to have all that grip of the track underneath yep. is very helpful in those situations. And it wouldn't be a Bobcat, folks, without an awesome bit of an attachment on the front of it. So tell me, come on, what is this? It looks like the jaws of a giant. This is an electric grapple, the world's right. first electric grapple, yep. where you're going to use the electric power to actuate this grapple. Yep. And so we're coming out with electric attachments for these great products we're doing here. And so we're debuting this grapple as one of the electric attachments we're coming out with. And he's still doing all of that with the Moog system that you basically yes. put together. So that relationship yes. is, is growing yes. and it's becoming yes. autonomous. Yeah. yeah, so this is the Moog components that yeah. are on here as well. And the green machine battery, same one we use on our T7X, we're using that here on the concept vehicle. So already proven technology that's working out there. 
What a great little yes. thing it's for awesome. all the people to see yeah. at Con Expo. Yeah. Great to see great you again, Joel. See you you take look, look after yourself. Cheers. Pleasure. Thank you.